Hello. Hello. We're back. Wow. Welcome. This is episode 12 of Harrison's Catch Up Onto One Piece. <laughs> yes. Of the Novo Combo podcast where two stupids make a hype. It's hype. Right? Right. <laughs> hype. That's right. Wow, he's actually hyped for once. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Veronica Bow, and I'm joined by Harrison O. He's to my left. I'm to his right. He's waving. I'm not. Ooh. Yeah, the usual. The usual. If you're new here, we both just want an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from anime to comics. But also, we're clearing up Harrison's One Piece backlog slowly but surely over time. <laughs> maybe faster because at this rate. Maybe faster. We'll see. But some would say this is two people, us two, conversing. Like Novo Convo, N-G-O-V-O Convo, spelled above my head. Wow. Just, ah, uh, it's great. <laughs> you can watch every episode on YouTube.com or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Convo on your podcast service of choice. <gasps> We're everywhere. 10 pluses. Everywhere. All pluses. All pluses. And in this episode, we're on the 12th episode. We're going to talk about Enos Lobby, which is still in the Water 7 saga, but it's just Enos Lobby arc. Yeah. So, as always, Harrison's reading it. So, we're in chapter 375 through 430. So, if you haven't finished this part or even watched it, just, you know, run through it. I don't know how quickly because quick. the, these these arcs are pretty long, but <laughs> yeah, they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of long. But yeah, come back to us in like you know a week or so. Yeah, yeah. But for those that also watch, just wanted to say this is a hard one because it's broken up so much. So I'm not even gonna mm -hmm. try it. <laughs> yeah, don't even try it. Yeah, I mean it's on Crunchyroll. It's like, yeah, it's like two six years. Yeah, they name it. It's like two six yeah three twelve or something. Yeah. But yeah. And we don't do spoilers. We kind of just go into it and talk about stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you are not cut up, just don't even try. Because <laughs> if it's one thing I want to say is that One Piece is a commitment. So, if you do have commitment issues, <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> hmm. okay. Unless you want to. You yeah, know. unless you but want to. Yeah, unless you want to. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Enos Lobby, Harrison. Your initial thoughts on just the first half, I would say. People trying to rescue Robin. Yeah, so everyone's <laughs> trying to rescue. Uh, they drafted up plans and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they obviously split up. As you've mentioned in the last episode that you were noticing that they like to split up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always. Always have always, to. Always. Always have to. Well, not always, but it's just funny to see kind of where everyone is. Yeah. Um, uh, how'd you feel about the Straw Hats getting to the Gates of Justice? <laughs> they, dude, this is the most One Piece thing, or the most Straw Hat thing. Now I can say this. It's the most yeah. Straw Hat thing to happen. Just to go on a rocket train, essentially, mm -hmm. and they didn't. Ha they couldn't use the brakes. No. <laughs> well, initially, there's no Initial brakes on the Rocket Man anyway, yeah. so it's yeah, just kind yeah. of. So he's just there because the whole thing is like, um, Robin and Frankie. Well, mainly Robin is just like expecting them to come, because and that's what they kept yeah. saying. Like the um, what's his name? What's his face with the mask and stuff? Uh, oh. The Sp the, um, spandem spandem sp spandem yeah. yeah or spanda as frankie says spanda spanda um he kept saying like oh they're not gonna come don't expect anyone's come i was like so then they're coming duh yeah. but classic classic trope but it's funny classic i was like trope. dang it's just so funny to see them get there and i think once they get there luffy's just luffy I mean, Luffy was Luffy to begin with because they had this elaborate plan. And then all of a sudden, I feel like people should just know to watch Luffy because if he, if he's unwatched, he just no, they, goes They off. went through the whole plan and they <laughs> yeah. even point, point back to it. They're like, Is, you got that? Yep. 
Got it. He's just, he's just, he's already gone. He's already <laughs> gone. He already had his own plan. <laughs> he Classic. already had his thing. Love it. Yeah, no, but the I think the journey to get to Gates of Justice, reading it, is really fun. Just to see kind of the obstacle that everyone gets to. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I think the Marines were even surprised that any pirate could could get there would even try because they get what they say is like uh 800 years or 600 800 years or something yeah it's been 800 years since someone's tried to to get through here so it's like oh my god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so of course everyone's like kind of thrown off that even someone would even try so i get and it. at this point the straw hats they're not even that famous no they're they're, they're not. not even up there they're just some crew that everyone just happens to know their name, right? Yeah. Um. So, uh, <laughs> did you have any before we get into like the CP nine reunion situation? Because there was a lot of back and forth, like yeah, in the in the gates and then out of the gates. Did you have any favorite fights as the Straw Hats were getting through everything? Like getting through the area, like the whole like the area in this lobby. Um, yeah, I had two, but it's okay. like the last two. So okay, so we'll so, wait. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. Yeah, CP nine, they finally all reunited. Yep. Um, there were a few that you did not get to see yet. The there are three of them. Yes. The, yeah. yeah, three of them. <laughs> What did you think about the three that you did, weren't seeing yet? Dude. I just need to know one specific person. <laughs> so, uh, the the mustache dude is like typical like hothead, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's like wolf guy or whatever. He's the, he's uh, a wolf guy. Yeah. Jabra. Okay, I have their names up now. Okay, <laughs> Kumadori was already in lion form. I can't tell. Yeah, he was already like kind of a lion. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. I think that was like his main form. Like yeah. His like tamed main form. Yeah. So yeah. he's just he was funny because he just kept screaming. Fuku Fukuro. Yeah. The zipper mouth dude. I need to know your thoughts on Fukuro. Uh, weird. I I didn't. I was like, what? <laughs> but he's he was like, the one. Zi- but zipper mouth, but he couldn't because he what he can't. He's like supposed to keep secrets or something like that, but he can't. But he can't. Know. That that yeah. wasn't the main mistake. But the one that threw me off entirely was he's the one that determines how strong each member is. Did you like that? The director was the lowest. <laughs> director was obviously the lowest. Uh, Spanum would be the lowest, and I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh yeah, no. But I mean, I'm just surprised by his sword. By his oh, pet. Oh, yeah. Funk the elephant. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was weird. Interesting. The sword. Yeah. But no, Rob Lucci's yeah. the strongest, and then Kaku's the second strongest. Day. Wow. Rob Lucci. What an interesting guy, I might say. <laughs> interesting. Yes. Interesting. Good yeah. Name. You were freaking out about Gear 2. Oh, a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, a little bit. Luffy just jumps around and beats everyone up. Like, the whole thing was just all the Marines were confused at how strong these guys were. Da, da, yeah. Da, da, da. That's nothing and Enos Lobby, like, they mapped it out really well in the manga, but it's just, like, three layers, basically. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're the Straw Hats are, like, getting through this, like, not easily, but they are just, they are flying They are through. flying through, like, very yeah. fast. Like, and it's, okay, before we even get to that fight, it was just funny to hear, like, Spandam's getting the most inaccurate updates because it's yeah. just like, oh, yeah, it's just five. Five casualties. Or like he's just like, oh, it's like ten. The numbers were off by like hundreds because it thousands was like. Thousands even. Or by the end, thousands. Yeah. yeah. But it was just like he kept having this classic villain trope of like, oh, these guys are weak. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is yeah. funny. Capture them, kill them. This is like, joke. This is a joke. Just kill them. How are they not yeah. dead yet? What is going on? But yeah, the straw hat crew is just like rampaging through. Which is, I mean, typical them. I think typical, typical. Yeah, 
Um, no, and so like Luffy's cut. Luffy's obviously like ahead at this point. Yeah. Because he was he left before even the finalizing the yeah. plans. But yeah, you were freaking out about, about Gear Two. Yes. A okay. A little bit. So I, a lot. Yeah. Very yeah. much so. I kept it contained in our chat. Like, <laughs> okay, when it came up, he, he's fighting Bluno. Yeah. Which I've the seen. The bar guy. Bar. Bartender the bartender. Guy, yeah. Barkeeper. And the door door guy. The, the door yeah the guy. door door yeah door yeah. door fruit yeah and of course like they they do okay there's so much i keep saying okay because i'm trying to like sort it out one gear two was came out of nowhere <laughs> they allude and then they allude to the idea that all the moves that they talk about the six um what was it the six like move sense or something i don't want to say pass moves. but six um Oh, I think it is six paths. Six paths? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go with that. It's six something because they, they have to be really good at these correct six Correct me moves. in the... I'm looking, but yeah. yeah, just correct me in the comments. I know. Yeah. I feel like I'm wrong. But yeah, they know they they have to have mastered all six paths or whatever. Six yeah. moves. And Luna's doing it this all. But then Luffy's just like, oh, I got used to it. And then he starts pulling one of the moves off. And Luna's like... What's going on? What? <laughs> so, one, Luffy has an idea of what these paths are. Somehow. Yeah. And then two, Gear 2 comes out of nowhere. Which, have you seen animated yet? I. Did your wife sit you down and just. That was one thing. That, that's two? still one thing on left on the list to look at. Animated. Okay. You, you should. Because I was going to watch that fight, but I ended up watching other fights. But, okay. um. Yeah. yeah yeah so that's um, some that would that i had to go back and make sure i didn't miss like miss anything miss any buildup because it just got thrown out of like it was so out of pocket i didn't under like i was not mentally prepared you message uh, so you message us and you're like gear two came out of nowhere (laughs) what just happened what? There was no build up. There was no allusion to it. Gear two just happened. It just like, what? it just happened. But yeah. the biggest thing was he did all that. He fought Bluno and Blue, and he was like, "Oh, you look like a sturdy guy. Let me show you gear." And then the guy Bluno falls down. I was like, "He was about to show gear three. <laughs> oh my god!" I was like, "What's you're, happening?" I feel like you're about to like flip. Your- <laughs> Dude, I I was losing my mind because at that point I was like, I was only gonna read like a few like. Because Veronica here gave me a quota per day. So I was yes. like, well, not, not really per day. Not a kid. She like, just... said I should read each day. And then my wife gave me like a, she's like, oh, you should just break it down like bite size. So it's just like, oh, you know, you finish a quota, then you're done. If you yeah. feel like you don't need to anymore, then boom. I kept going. I kept going because I was really, at this point, I will admit I'm very invested in One Piece now because I am very confused. I can't wait for hey, the month break, and then Veronica no, just goes back to this. this I'm gonna piece. be like, stop it. <laughs> no, but I think you'll keep going now because yeah. we'll no at the end we'll yeah. We'll so talk yes, about, yeah. That reveal was crazy, and I like to believe that it was super wild when this first came out as well. Because oh yeah, I think so. <laughs> I didn't like, expect oh. it. But before we get into Robin's back story. Um, let's go back to Kaku and Rob Lucci because they ate devil fruits during their reunion. No, uh, no, Rob Lucci already had the devil fruit. Or no, it's Kaku, it was Kaku and the and secretary. And Ka- the yeah. Secretary. Ka- it started also with a K. Yeah. They both ate devil fruits, oh. yes. Yes. Did you pay attention to that conversation? Because devil fruits are hard to come yeah, by. Yeah, they just had it. <laughs> yeah, they just I was going to say, like, it. we're rewarding you with two devil fruits. I'm like, I, I thought, yeah. again, we're going back to, like, one of the arcs that I mentioned. How, I'm like, it's kind of weird that they talk about how rare it is to get. But yet, we're just getting them willy-nilly now. To but the it, government. To the government. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Government yeah. specifically just have these... He was Spanham yeah. was able to get these no problem. I was like, okay, yeah, okay, okay. that's so you're, weird. You're you're getting the the weird vibes. Yeah. Got it. Noted for next time. <laughs> but yeah, I was really surprised. I was like, wow, they 
they just had two in their like two. back pockets just somewhere. Just trade up two. Yeah. And he's like, oh, they, uh, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. No, but um, I just want to get into this, into Robin's backstory because Super it made sad. me cry. <laughs> Super sad. Oh my god. Next part that I couldn't stop reading because I was like, gotta keep going. Keep, I can't you gotta this. keep going. Yeah. How'd you feel about Robin's Dude, childhood? The most. Now it, it full explanation of why she had such a high bounty at such a young age. Yeah. And it's mo- the most mundane, dumb reason, and it's the most government like reasoning ever. Oh yeah. Because now, okay, now I understand. It's not the bounty isn't exactly what you've done. It's how much of a threat they've talked about this, but it's how much of a threat you are to the government. Yep. Which I'm like, hold up. So she didn't yeah. do she the only which then it's sad because then she feels like she shouldn't deserve to exist, all this stuff. Because of what she did. Mm-hmm. And it was partially, I mean, part of the reason is just because, like, the archaeolo- archaeologist research group that she was so, like, in love with, like, or I super, mean, she became like, one at she such a young one. age. Yeah. yeah. So she's so smart because her mom was also one, too. Yeah. Who, it's crazy how that came full circle by the end of her backstory. But yeah, I was so ready for you to see Robin's backstory. I just had to like, you kept talking about it in Alabasta. You're like, it's kind of sus. Like Robin. You're like, this is kind of sus. And I was like biting my lip. I was like, I can't say anything. <laughs> even my, yeah. Even my wife was like, I couldn't say anything when you were talking about Robin. Yeah. But now do you get it? I was like, I get it. Yeah. She's so good. And, you know, they start introducing the hundred year void. Yeah. Which I hope you are so interested in. I because... was. Because I was like, when they started talking about how things t- lined up and everything. Yeah. Like, huh. The government started after that. Yep. Like, and you know, Robin was interested in kind of this taboo um, info, basically. Like reading stuff that, you know, about the hundred year void that you're not supposed to even talk about or know about. And what's interesting is that her mentor was about to slip it, what like what they found out. And you know, in Oda fashion, you just get left hanging. Honestly, cut off. <laughs> got cut off. Major got cut off. Cut off. I was like this. <clears throat> yeah, but Sal, how'd you feel about Sal's twist? The twist of him. He's a giant. He's right? a giant. Yeah. He. He was a basically. An Afro- he was a former vice vice, vice admiral. admiral. Yeah. Um, and As I think a- I hope you're kind of starting to see people, the government, and political views, and because Sal was just so not into killing. Yeah, because he would be like, "Oh, we're supposed islands. to just capture these people," which it all began with. Yeah. Robin's mom, that yeah. group, that got caught. And uh, can we also mention how he has a has the D in his middle name as well? We I, I'm just I'm just saying I we, am just saving that. We yes. But <laughs> I'm just saying it because they mentioned his name, and then Robin, as a kid, was like, "Why do you have a D?" He's like, oh, no, 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 no. they just left it. I was like, okay. Old of fashion, you just left it. <laughs> like, okay. No, but it's just so sad that Robin didn't want to be alive after but her mom was like you need to like live live she said on. that Saul yeah. said that even yeah. like um oh my god the vice admiral i forget uh, Kiji. Yeah. Kiji, yeah allowed her to live because he was like oh yeah you, you 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 should live yeah and you you had a glimpse of someone and I the was other, just like the other, the other admirals, admirals, or future admirals, future at this admiral, point. The yeah. fu- one of the future three. Ugh. He was there. He said, "Screw y'all." Just bomb. Let's bomb this entire entire thing. No, but yeah, her backstory is really sad, and I was so excited for you to see it because I was like, "Oh my god, he's about to have, he's about to go through like the stages of grief." I think. <laughs> I, I did. 
I had to keep going. I, did. I actually took like a light break at the end of that one because I was like, that's a lot. It was, it was, that was a, a lot. lot. Yeah. But I think it just goes to say how One Piece kind of goes in full circle because Luffy even asked her to like say it because he just knew. He knew what Robin needed. Yeah. <laughs> and she kept telling like, so yeah, by the end that they gave that whole thing and she's at the top of the tower. Frankie's mm-hmm. with her. The whole crew's with them. They finally caught up. Yeah. All the crew members oh, are there. They were sure they 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 essentially were like, say it to my face. If yeah. you want to say it, say it to my face. I'm yeah. like, yes, say it to their face. Yes, do it. But she she told her truth, and her truth was to live. Yep, she wanted to live. <laughs> but oh man. But ah, Usopp. Let's talk about King Sniper King. Sniper King Usopp. Because he this is why Water 7 is my favorite arc, because he had probably one of the best character growth in this current arc that we're talking about. Or current saga? Uh, cu- or, no, Inasabi? The arc? Yeah, the arc. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, but like, I think when, I think you'll catch on, but whenever Luffy is actually turns into like captain mode, like he means it, and that. Oh, the bombing of the government flag. I was just like, please. He told told Usopp (laughs) to like shoot the flag. And he's like, oh. Yeah. And everyone's like, are you serious? Dude, that's wild. And I was like, ah. Fantastic. I mean, that's just. Oh, yeah. I think you even screenshot it. You were like, this is, this is it. You were like, ah. (laughs) But hey, Luffy. What Luffy wants, he'll he'll get. I think. Yeah. If you're starting to notice, but yeah, they started a war with the government, which was interesting. Um. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So now we're in the second half, and it's basically now rescuing Robin. Rescuing right? Robin. Yeah. Yeah, trying to get to her, but to get to her, they have to get through all CP9s. Yep. Uh, their plan was like to get keys because she's in the um uh, the uh, sea prism. Sea prism. Like, cuffs or whatever. Cuffs. Yep. Yep. So this is where like a lot of like one on ones come in to play, and I have a feeling you have a favorite one on one. But I will have to ask: Do you have a favorite one on one? Okay, I do. Well, I have two. I say two because I think the automatic one for me is obviously Luffy versus Rob Lucci. Yeah, but that's to me. That's too for me. That was too obvious. That's too easy. Yeah, yeah. My second one was Zoro's. <laughs> Re- I knew it, and Kaku. Ka- Zoro versus Kaku. Ah, but the whole yeah, lead- so, good one. But that whole lead up with like um, Zoro and Usopp versus uh, Kaku and um, Kaku and uh, I'm pulling up the name. Uh, Jabra. Jabra, that was funny though. <laughs> was it that? That was hilarious? just hilarious because <laughs> they're so dumb. They're just so dumb. They're dumb together. Yes. They share a brain cell even though are, they don't no, want they're, to. They're all dumb when they somehow get together. This is so funny. But like, it just shows that Usopp's really smart because he saw the, the cuffs and he was like, let's cuff them because they're fruit de- like devil fruit users. But then he got too scared cuffs. and cuffs him and Zoro. I was like, <laughs> ticking down the time. on It's then, frustrating, but like it's funny to but see. But it's funny. It's funny to see. Yeah. I was just like, this is the point where I was like, this is just dumb but funny. It's fine. Yeah. I'm okay. And I feel like everyone in the second half, they, they're they fighting because they want Robin back, right? Yeah. So, obviously, the cowards like Usopp, Nami, Chopper, they actually got in their own fights. No, their it's funny because 1v1s. the... Oh, because um, the 1v1 with Khal- Khalifa... Um, yeah, Khalifa, with yeah. with Robin only happened because Sanji wouldn't fight a woman. <laughs> oh, with Nami, yeah, exactly. Because he's such a gentleman. He uh, wanted, yeah. he couldn't kick, he, couldn't kick. Him. He couldn't kick a woman. But I mean, Nami. I think. But they did you like Nami. Nami's? Yes, her thing is the, wild. her climate. Yes. baton. How she could make um mirages of herself. I guess yeah. clones of herself. That I found cool. it really cute when her mirages were like. Each version of the straw hat, sort of. Wait, I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Hold on, really? Yeah, Wait, give like, me this. Yeah. <laughs> they were like little, like cute little versions of like. I knew they were different versions, but hold on, I didn't even notice. 
They were cute versions of the straw hats. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I feel like your mind's about to be like blown when you go see. Hold on. Are they? They kind of are. So there's like the mini chopper, one. Kind of like the, the fat versions skinny? like. Like Frankie. The skinny ones like okay. Sanji. Oh. Luffy's in there a little bit. What about the the short fat one? Because there's the tall buff one, tall skinny one. I was in the short uh, fat one was Chopper. Like who's the tiny one. one then? Oh, there was a oh yeah, there was an itty bitty one. I'm I'm putting this up as like reference because yeah. I uh, felt like they were, they looked like straw hats or I like, thought they were just different like a different variety. So I, I mean they could cool. be too, yeah. but that's I thought that was really cool. Yeah. To see, still cool. She though. was brave enough to want to fight yeah and not and not kind of like everyone... scare away <laughs> yeah everyone Wait, yeah everyone was fighting chopper did you like his transformation dude okay but choppers is wild because he was going all out but then he yeah. went into his like monsters form i don't even yeah. know what to call it but yeah it was it was basically a monster farm i think it was called yeah. like arm point or whatever yeah because he was talking no, about yeah. like different the different points he could he get into, but just couldn't beat the lion dude. Yeah. Or yes. Oh, chopper! And then he, there was like flashbacks to him, and like oh, <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was good. It was so good. But obviously, I I don't know what it is, but they got to Robin and they like got the cuffs off. All in all. Rob or Luffy versus Rob Lucci, and I know we'll talk about Gear Three here because you were freaking out about actual Gear Three. Because <laughs> they showed the they showed so they teased it again because he was running through right, mm -hmm. and then it showed him going chibi mode. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, I hope you see it anime because it's so funny. I, I need to. Mode. Yeah, that's on the list that my wife wants to show me. That's a. <laughs> I know that's my favorite fight in this arc, and it's yours. Um, but I think it's just so like interesting to see animated, gear th animated, and like Gear Three. It it's just so it's just so Luffy. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's dude. That was so crazy to see, and well, and it you, this is all just coming from like they they did it to where they showed each cp9 having to like get re-ranked in a sense yeah re-evaluated yeah. and obviously yep. it just showed like yeah rob Lucci's the top highs and it shows power levels and all that they won't keep power levels right or do they um i don't think they do okay i think one piece does a really good job world building but there's no power leveling in a sense besides bounties right Besides bounties. But bounties yeah. to me is like a very like nice, easy way to power level up. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously like... Oh, well, I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, yeah. there's no true sense of like power leveling. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everyone gets stronger. Yeah. But like there's no like, oh, they do like level like 30 here. Like, no. Nothing. Nothing of that sort. Yeah. Um, But yeah, all... Overall, the second half, it was super chaotic because there was fights going on, right? Mm -hmm. The Frankie family were also fighting, like, yeah. just to open gates up and, yep. like, people coming in, it's coming out. Trying to escape because, yeah. no, okay, the one head-ass moment was when Spandam was, like, trying to call. And oh, he ended up God. accidentally <laughs> calling it or doing the buster call. Yep. And I was like. Dude, he's an idiot. He's See, I knew idiot. it was gonna happen because it almost happened, or he almost happened earlier when he was like yeah. talking about it. But then, yeah. So. No, yeah, and then like, were you surprised about the old lady being a mermaid? <laughs> that was earlier. No, 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 no. They no, that revealed was it. That was when the end. That when the uh, when the pipes broke and all that, they were stuck on the water. Yeah. And Sanji was like, oh, we're saved. We're saved by these beautiful... And it just shows like her like... Ah! Dragging them all. And I love how Frankie's like, put on some clothes. Put on Frankie's just like, just put on clothes. And then Sanji's like dying on the inside. He's like, 
My world. My world. Um, Can't be. Yeah, but that that fight between Luffy and Rob Lucci, like, I think it was pretty. It's pretty early on, but you can kind of see how Luffy is just not giving up. He's like, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. <laughs> um. But finally, I think Luffy was like at his at his tail end of fighting. But then Usopp's like, I'm here. Like, why are you giving yeah, up? And no, he the gave thing his is, whole speech. That threw me off. I had to I had to reread it, think rethinking like, oh yeah, Luffy doesn't know that that's that Usopp's, that Usopp's there. Yeah. yeah. He's just thinking like, oh yeah, Sniper King's here. Oh, blah blah blah. Yeah. So that I was like, oh. It's only Luffy and Chopper that only don't realize. Chopper. Everyone that. else goes along with it. Yeah. But yeah, Luffy and Chopper are legit. Like, who? Yeah, that speech was... Oh, that speech gets me every time, I think. Beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. But, man, that buster call, and then just, it's just chaos. Because the chaos because everyone's trying to get off. Everyone's trying to get off. Like, people are trying to capture Luffy now, like mm-hmm. Straw Hats and yep. Robin. And were you at all surprised that they all escaped with mary mary go the, the boat the going mary okay yeah, going mary wow i did not expect it Cause, okay i thought the ship broke when it fell down when they let it release yeah. it i thought it just straight yeah. up broke but when they showed iceberg um coming to like rescue the straw hats basically yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. I mean, the going back, it came and it was like, because they all heard a voice and then all of a sudden yeah. it, saved, it saved her or saved all of them. And I'm like, what? what happened? I'm so confused. Yeah. So No, I think it's crazy that the Straw Hats could demonstrate that they could get into the government, pick up someone, leave. Burn a flag. <laughs> Burn a flag. Start a war. Start a war, basically. Um. I I usually don't cry over boats, but that last scene with Mary, mm. I just I couldn't. You need to watch it because it's so okay. good. Okay. <laughs> it's so so good. Um, and I think their boat was like such a companion to them. Yep. Like they couldn't. They just had to let her go, though. She just couldn't go any further. Yeah. But it yeah. was. I think it was a very good. Like they were like, oh, we can't. We can't leave behind a companion. She's done so much for us. And they're like, if she's done so much, just let her rest. And I was like, oh, <laughs> no. It just goes to show that Luffy just likes, like, pulls everyone in, including a boat, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. You know, on paper, it's like, what? <laughs> but yeah. as you're reading, it makes sense. Yeah. He just cares about his crew. And it's just. She was yeah, part, and I need you to watch that part. Okay. Yeah, come back to me and I be think like, y'all yes. need to just give me like, even you, you could just comment down below like what I should refer what back to. What he should for watch, anime. yeah. Anime wise, yeah. because anime reading wise. it, I I did watch like some scenes and it makes a bit more sense on some things because you know they yeah. can flesh out this, the action a bit better, and give different perspectives. No, yeah, I so I think that's, I mean, yeah, Veronica will do it, but yeah, if if anything, just comment down below and let me know what. Oh yeah. But um, that basically ends Ina's lobby, which was a whole bunch of chaos and fights and rescuing Robin. I, it was this is essentially just like arc. the, from what I can tell, it seems like it's, yeah, the rescue arc, a good rescue arc. Oh my gosh. Really oh, good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Um, This is essentially like what puts the Straw Hats on the map, right? I mean, yeah, basically. Or, I mean, who, who breaks into a government like building essentially yeah. and just grab someone and goes like no one no one no one's crazy enough to do that especially like a place that's been known for like hundreds of years of like no one getting through yeah i mean not only is it a navy headquarter but it's also a prison yeah it's split into two yeah, yeah. So, so i think it's wild you're getting into some wild stuff yeah, yeah. it's getting good <laughs> it's getting so good but yeah, do you have anything else? Any other closing thoughts about Enos Lobby? I have questions about the next one. The next one, which we can get into later. Yeah. But yeah. 
Thanks for tuning in. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at Novo Convo and GWO Convo. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. Let us know what we missed in the comments, what you liked about this arc. Because there's so what much. What you were surprised about. Yeah. Let Harrison know what he should watch, anime-wise, because I know he, he'll come back and watch it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just let us know how we're doing, what you want to see next, what you want to review, read, watch, play, everything under the Aren't sun. They? Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>